everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a Dollar Tree vinegar and oil basket. So I'm going to be making a little basket where we can hold some little jars that will either contain some vinegars or some oils. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them, but I thought they were really cute and I wanted to create something where I could actually put them together so they wouldn't just be laying around on the counter. And you know, sometimes when you pour out oils or vinegars, you get a little bit of a, a drip sometimes. And you get at the bottom and when you place it down on your counter, wherever you do, you end up with that little circle. So I thought, you know, sometimes, you know, you can either wipe it off, but then you can also put them into a little container. So I want to create that. And I was at the Dollar Tree today and I had some fall items. And I looked everywhere. I had already had some frames in my head or with my idea of what I was going to create. But then I found these little items, this little picture. It's a little wall hanging. It has a little hook right here. And I thought this would be great as a recipient for my basket where I could actually put these bottles into just like that and I got a little basket now you're probably telling yourself why go through the trouble of having this when I have a basket already made and I could actually just put them in there well the basket has an open bottom and that means the oil will or vinegar will drip right through it and I want to prevent that and yes I could do that but this is a craft video where we're going to take something and create something out of it aside what then what it actually looks like so I'm going to use this little basket as a frontier and you'll see how I put that together but first let me finish telling you what the <laughs> supplies are going to be and then I've also got these other three little signs these are like you know you just rest them on a shelf or on a table they're really cute they have a couple of patterns there I just grabbed three of them they all happen to be the same. It doesn't matter because it's not going to keep this um, fall theme on them. So this is going to be in the bottom, so you're not going to see that anymore. I'm going to actually spray paint them. So I've got some white spray paint. Use whatever uh, spray paint uh, brand you want to buy. This is for indoors, so just uh, also make sure it's probably uh, safe to have around in your kitchen. This is some string that I'm probably going to use. And I say probably because you all know very well. That I sometimes change things up depending on how things are looking and then I also found this at the Dollar Tree this uh, they do have twine at the Dollar Tree by the way but I already happen to have this I got this big giant uh, spool from uh, Hobby Lobby so I'm just continuing to use this but you can certainly find twine at the Dollar Tree they even have one that's this thick and you can find that there also they're like where the, all the floral uh, supplies are so I found this also, it's a decal, and you stick this on the wall, but I like the small butterfly here, and I like this small butterfly over here. I really wanted some little birds or something, but they didn't have any, and um, everything else seemed like really big, and I wanted some couple of small little stickers or something that I can put on my background for my uh, holder. So I'm going to use this butterfly and this one. I don't know if I'm going to use the little flowers, we'll see how that looks. Okay, I'm also going to be using some glue to put this all together. I have a super glue uh, adhesive. It's a fix-all adhesive. I did get this at the Dollar Tree. And I've got my glue gun because I like to make things stick together quick. But this will help it stay nice and firm. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get, to get, get, a, get going on this. I do need some wire cutters. I'll pull those out and I need some pliers. So I'm going to pull those out so we can start cutting this basket up to use in the way that I'm going to show you. So let's get to crafting. All right, everyone. So I've opened up all my packages. I've unwrapped these, taken off stickers, off of everything. Uh, this still has a little bit left on them. I'm going to use my Goo Gone to remove that. Uh, now, y'all have given me advice and told me that, you know, you could take it, take it off with just some warm, soapy water. And that is fine. That works for you. Uh, I like to use uh, the Goo Gone. It works really quickly. And I like the way it smells. Um, but, yeah. I can just use some warm soapy water and since I have to wash them from the inside because I am going to be adding a food product, I'll go ahead and do that this time. Um, I've, uh, like I said, I've unwrapped these and I've taken the sticker off of it. So I'm going to remove this little uh, hanger that it has here, this little brass hanger because we don't need that. So I've got my little pliers here just to pry it off. And actually that's a pretty good little piece so I'm going to go ahead and save that for something else that I might want to hang. So now that's ready, and this has a kind of a textured, glittery uh, feel to it. 
I can go ahead and uh, sand that off if I don't like the way, uh, maybe I don't want it leaving glitter on my kitchen counter because if I do rub off it, rub on it, some of it does come off. Now, I do want to spray paint this, so I might end up spray painting the bottom as well. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just spray right over the glitter. I don't know right now, but um, we'll leave it at that and see what happens. Okay, and then my basket, I want to take it apart. So, I'm not going to need this little handle because it's pretty much going to be in the way. So, I want to get my good wire cutters, and I want to be able to remove all of that. I'm just going to use my pliers, though, to bend this. And see if I can just straighten it up a little bit, just slide it out. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. And let's see the other side, I can just kind of twist it off. Okay, so I've just taken that off. And then these little parts, I'm probably going to uh, just trim them off. And since I am spray painting, now the basket's already white, but I'm going to put everything together and spray paint it all as a whole. So that these little bits will get uh, painted as well. I'm trying to cut these as close as I can so I don't really have, you know, like too much sticking up. But that's not bad. It's not like, I'm checking it to see if it's scratchy or anything and it's not. So that's a good thing. And take the one on the other side off as well. Okay. And this one. Oh, there we go. Let's throw these away. We don't want them to get into anything. Okay. So since I'm going to spray, like I said, uh, whatever I've, uh, you know, here where I've cut them, that'll get spray painted so you won't see the little uh, exposed metal there. Okay. So this, I want to use it to place in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom off and I'm probably going to be cutting an opening right here because then I'm going to bend it and see uh, how far I can get it. I don't need the back part to have because these will go back here actually. So I just want the front to have a little basket. So I'm going to cut this up going down and then cut the bottom off. Okay, that's what I intend to do. So let's see how I can do this. I'm going to start in the center. There we go. I just work my way down. The uh, hardest part is just cutting this, this uh, this wire on the edge. The rest of it is super easy to cut. Uh, I can even use some uh, craft scissors, good good craft scissors, uh, to cut into it. I'm not going to use my scissors because I don't want to ruin them. Uh, so I'm going to be using the wire cutters. But you could use a simple wire cutter for that. But you do need a good sturdy one. So you might as well invest in some good wire cutters to do some good crafts. Okay, but I'm not. I'm also not wanting to remove this part. I don't know how easy it's going to manipulate it uh, because uh, it does have these little corners and I probably have to extend this a little bit further out. I don't know right now. I may have to uh, remove that edge completely, but we'll see as we go along. Okay, you guys, I'm going to continue cutting this all the way across, but as you see, this is what I'm just doing as I'm going along the bottom edge and just cutting a little bit at a time until I can get this whole piece off. And look, I've almost got it completely off. Okay. All right, everyone, I am back. I've uh, cut off the bottom from this completely, so now I have this piece here. I don't want to straighten out this part yet. I, I think I might want the top, you know, the front of it to be this wide. The, the bottom, I can uh, adjust it to the size of the box, and we'll see. And I was trying to see if I could actually straighten this little corner up. It's a little bit difficult to do so um, with my, at least with my little pliers. Probably can be done with a, uh, some better, heavier pliers, uh, but for lack of looking for them, you know, um, I don't see them. <laughs> anyway, so I decided that I'm either going to live with uh, the way that it looks or try to fix that. But I'm going to try first see, you know, like how much of this needs to be in the front. And then, of course, how much length I'm going to need here for the back. And this is probably going to end up way back here somewhere, so it's probably not going to bother me at all. And then I could just do some cutting here of this you know, part, the same on the other side to fit in here. So we'll worry about it when we get to it. And uh, I did stop for a little bit, rest my hands. I poked myself with a wire, a little bleeding going on. Uh, sorry if there's some of you have a problem with seeing that. I shouldn't have shown you. Okay, so anyway, um, the glitter that's on here, I said I was probably sand it off with some sandpaper or paint right over it. And I thought, well, let me try doing that. Uh, but then I was looking in my things because I know I have sandpaper somewhere and I have my little craft knife.
And I thought, well, what if I could use that? You know, to scrape off the glitter. And if you look, the first friends, the first row was the same as that family here. Is it friends and family? Yeah. This friends here looked just like that one. And I already scraped the glitter off. So craft knife works really well or a blade. You could just use that. Um, so if you don't have any sandpaper laying around, you could use a little kitchen knife that you could just wash. Okay, I think I've got most of it off. I'll just wipe it off. I'll just probably uh, use another use a little rag or a little cloth to wipe off as much of that glitter so um, I won't have it on there. Okay, and now uh, let me just wipe this off. Excuse me. Okay. I do also have a piece of fabric uh, where I want to cut off like maybe a little scrap from here and use to maybe place inside of here, the bottom of my little basket. That might look cute. So we'll, we'll decide that at the end. Okay, so I want to take this and I want this to fit into the inside of my little square here. Uh, maybe you find a little rectangular one and you'd rather use that. Just make sure that you, the length of the basket, you know, all the way around it once you've cut it, it is enough to go in front of it. Or if maybe you want it to go all the way around to the back. So just make sure that that fits. So I'm just doing some maneuvering here of this wire to decide where it, should, it will fit in. If it's about right there, you guys. So I'm gonna just pull this upward and bend it. It's just a tiny little bit difference from where it was before. Yeah, this will fit into it. Okay, so now I need to decide the length on the back. Let me open this up a little bit more because I think that's where it will do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting some of this excess off because I feel like I'm not going to use that. Okay, now it's just a lot of bending and making sure that these edges, uh, now this is very easy to bend, by the way, this little basket part. It's very, very easy to manipulate it and bend it. So now, I need to bend it like way up here because that will help me. Okay. Push these down against the bottom on the inside of the basket. And that way I know that they are... Okay. Once you have this manipulated and you've got it fitting inside of the little square here, this is what it's going to look like in the front. So once you've got all these little wire bits manipulated and you know the length that you're going to need, and I feel like I need a little bit more on this side. And then you're going to bend them inward to fit inside of the basket. Once you know exactly what you need, this part back here, you need to cut that off. So I'm going to do that right now. And hopefully I don't go too short, but I feel like I might. Okay, now I'm cutting right where it's it's gonna uh, bend to come around this corner. So I don't want any wire, you know, back on the, on the back of my little holder. But I'm, I'm cutting the wire just out a little bit, like at an angle, because this part can be straight. Okay, let me go ahead and cut the excess over here. I'm just going out a little bit. In other words, I'm not cutting it straight, but I'm cutting it like at an angle. Okay, let me put this back in there now that I've cut off that excess. And actually, this doesn't 
Let me straighten it up a little bit more again. And then I need to cut this one the same length as this one. Okay. This is a tedious part of the whole thing. And I think I said that at the beginning. I don't know, did I? Did I mention that this was going to be the tedious part? Okay, so now I just want to bend this to keep it because this top part, I can always m maneuver it once I've got this all glued down. But I'm trying to man maneuver it so that it is straight up against the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to fix the front because I bent it a little bit, the top part. And we don't want that. Okay. That looks good to me. So just fix it to where it just looks perfectly fine for you. Yeah, okay, so now that I know for sure, I can cut off the little, the little bits. Okay, and try to make it look pretty. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to glue this in. And I'm going to do one part at a time. So I'm going to do the front part first because I want to make sure that it lays flat in there. Okay, so then I can pour some of this fix-all glue, but then I'm going to use my glue gun so that it all stays. Like it dries up quickly, so it'll hold it in place. So put some glue in there. Just some little dots here and there of glue. And I'm going to use my pliers to push again. You know what it is, too? This is kind of going downward and it's pushing it up. So let me trim some of this down here. Okay. Like it's a little too long over here on this end. It's just because of the way that I cut it off at the bottom. Some little bits uh, I, I cut right close to the edge of the uh, wire that was at the bottom. And some of them I cut them a little bit higher so it's not even. Okay, let's put this back in here. inside, yes, and that's inside, and let's pour some glue in there with my hot glue gun, and I didn't turn it on you guys, so let's be back when my hot glue gun is ready, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and put glue, the fix all glue, on this side and on this side, and um, put it in there again. This side does not let me finish doing that. Let's take these off. Okay. I'm going to be back just while my hot glue gun gets heated up. All right, everyone. <laughs> I am back. And after a lots of glue, my hot glue gun to hold it down so it wouldn't move on me because it keeps wanting to move on me and I don't want to keep cutting because I feel the more I cut the worse it gets so I thought I'd take a little break because I'm getting really high from this glue and even though I have a little fan going here and I've got some doors open and such but still okay I put lots of glue in there I don't know if you can see the globs and globs and I feel like I still want to put even more in there but before I continue, I want to get these little bits. These I bought them. They're cute little, you know, little decorations. I think you can hang them on the wall too because they do have this little bit here. Uh, but these I want to put them back here. And in the store, when I put them together, they aligned uh, perfectly to the size of the uh, little, this other little wood uh, plaque. So now I'm putting them there. Now they're not up against it because this, 
little wire here is sticking out a little too far back. So that's where I want to go ahead and do some trimming, but I wanted to make sure I glued it on first. So these fit perfectly together. Well, maybe not perfectly, but you know, they're pretty close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also glue these edge to edge. And I've got some clips here that I want to use because, uh, or maybe you can use some clothes pins, something to, to press them together because uh, when I put these together, I can see right, you know, through them, like when I'm holding them up, I can see through them and I can see light. So I know they're not, uh, you know, like flat up against each other. And um, with a glue gun, even though it, it adheres quickly, it even, you know, even sitting, standing here holding it. So we're going to use some paper clips or like I said, you get some clothes pins to hold them together. Now you can go ahead and just use the other glue. I'm not going to use it. Um, but, you know, if you want to use that or like an E6000 glue, go right ahead. Um, I trust my glue gun. And a lot of things that I make, I end up taking apart later anyway and reusing the parts for something else. So, um, I'm just going to use my glue gun. That's the, that's the end of my story. Okay, there. Let's get that. I'm going to get this on here quickly. And try not to put it too close to the edge because you don't want it to squirt outward. Okay, and then just put them together. Align them as best as you can. Let me turn this around. Get a clip to hold these, to squeeze them together. Yeah, that's good because now, um, you know, you won't see through them. So you want them to look like wood planks, so they're not going to necessarily be like perfectly, you know, together. You want it to look, uh, you want them to have that little indentation between them. Okay, let me do this one with a glue so I don't have to, so I just put glue as quickly as I can. I put it facing you. I don't know if that helps. It's the same thing, whatever I'm doing. Okay. Put these. Like that. Squeeze them together as quickly as I can because I said the glue dries pretty quick. Put some of these. This one that's already ready. Here we go. This one. holding it yep and I'm just looking at it from the front and you also want to hold it like this because you want to make sure that they're at least even on one end they, they may not be perfectly even you know when they're manufactured uh, but at least if the bottoms are level and it stands then you know you've got them in the right position and then like I said this is going to go behind here but in order for that to fit I'm going to need to trim off these wires so they're not hitting up against this and pushing this, you know, back. So now that I've got them glued, I can go ahead and trim off bits. Whoops. Let's trim off this. All right. Now, haha, that's my thought noise. And one on this side. Okay. And I think this little knob was okay, but I'll trim it anyway. Okay, so now we want to see if this is now flat. And it is. Okay, the only thing that I'm noticing is that this is sticking out too far. Let me put it where you can see it. This is coming out too far, so I'm going to have to bend this inward. Yeah, but I'm going to do it once I've got this piece glued to this. So I think I've given this enough time. Yes. Okay, let me see this one. Yeah, okay. I don't see the little, the little openings. So that's dry. Put this down like that, which is the bottom, which is a straighter part. This one. This is a straighter edge. This is going to go right up against it right here. 
on the bottom. So we want to put some glue. Well, I'm going to put it on here actually. It's a little stick here. I'm going to use a lot of glue. And like I said, you can use the glue of your choice. see here where it got bent so I'm going to go ahead and fix that let's see I'm trying to decide this should be on the outside or on the inside it's going to have to get cut right here and I'm going to manipulate this to be right on the edge of this box here. This is where you're going to have to do a little kind of rounding it off a little bit so that it's resting on here rather than on the out, you know, like hanging out of it. You want it to be pushed into it. You can just put a little glue there if you want. That looks pretty good. Now let me turn this side over here because that's also sticking out a little too much. There we go. That part there. Okay. I need to cut all these little pieces off. Let's see now. There we go. All right. Okay, so in order for it to stay in there, I'm going to manipulate it and kind of round it off a little bit so I can push it right into it. Yeah. Okay. This other side came out a little bit better because it's right on there, right up against it. So now I just want to put a little bit of glue there. Keep it from bending outward. A little dot of glue. Let me uh, wipe that off. Just where the uh, the top, uh, this thick wire, where this top wire touches here is the only place I'm going to put glue. This one doesn't quite touch. I'm going to put a dot of glue first. Let that little dot dry. Sweep off any glue webs. Okay, now I can build a little bit more onto that and get some glue on the wire part. Okay, you guys, now that this is completely dry, I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spray paint this. Spray paint this a uh, little rack that I've built so far. And I'm going to wash these guys so I can make sure that they're safe to put in uh, olive oil. I'm probably going to put olive oil in there because I bought a, just got a big old jug from um, Sam's and I like to fill in the other jugs that I have or, or the other bottles that I have. But I'm going to put the, the rest of it in here so I, it'll look nice and then I can put this in here. And then I'm going to cut that little scrap piece of fabric to fit in there even though that's going to get spray painted white as well. I'm going to put that in there to hide the uh, glue edges on the inside. So I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger so I can just push it in there and, and a little bit of the edges can kind of be kind of raw, maybe a little bit frayed. But I'm going to lay it down outside like this. That way I can spray paint this and the side, the, the bottom here. This is the bottom. I'm going to go in and spray paint that and then I can also spray paint the sides and I don't have to worry about this back over here. Okay, so just spray it. Actually, I really like this little gingham edging. And I do have some blue tape. So maybe I should cover that. What do you guys think? We should cover this part right here, the gingham. I don't have to worry about the bottom part, but the sides. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get some a nice, clean blue tape edge on this. And uh, hopefully, 
when I peel off the blue tape, it won't peel off. Well, let's you can test it. Uh, but if it didn't work out for me, I'll end up painting it, okay? So when I come back, if it's spray painted, it's because the blue tape didn't work very well on that. Okay, I'll be back once that is spray painted outdoors and it is dry. Okay, so hours later, <laughs> this is almost dry because I did give it another coat uh, when I went out there to check it, so uh, it's still a little tacky, but I went ahead and I brought it in. And I also noticed that this part right here in the top, I don't know what I did where I grabbed it maybe when I was turning it around, came kind of loose, came kind of loose, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. But I did go ahead and put this blue tape, and now I'm hoping that I can peel it off um, and it won't cause any damage. I'm getting a little nervous on this end over here because it looks like it's pulling off this paper. This is just a paper that was used to decorate. But I felt that if it was messed up, then I would um, paint it with a craft paint, just a brush. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go from the bottom up. Make sure. So far, so good, but up here, I don't know. This, it looks like the paint may have seeped through. Okay, no, it's fine. It's just pulling off a little bit, so I'll just put a little bit of glue there and a little bit. But look how cute that looks with the, the edge in black. A little black gingham. Okay, let's get some glue in here. Tape, whatever. I'm saying tape that out. Glue that back down. And then this little corner here. Try to get some glue in there. There you go. Squeeze it and remove any excess that squeezes out. The same on this other little corner. So you can see what this is looking like. It's a cute little, little basket, little container. the sides, the top, and of course the um, the back is not painted. I just left it like that. And so I said I wanted to make a little piece of fabric in there. So I did have this um, scrap that I've used for another project. I want to use some of that to create a little fabric to push in there. And that will kind of cover the edges here and the little the glues. And then if, if I get any oil on it or anything, I just pull it off and wash it and then um, replace it. Okay, so I want it to be bigger than obviously the inside. So I'm just going to eyeball and cut certain inches over. See how this looks in there? And then if I want to trim it some more, I will. Stuff it in there. Should I round it off from the end on the corners? I think I will. I'm gonna round off the corners a little bit. And this is not even straight, so I'm gonna attempt it <laughs> again and hopefully I didn't make it worse. Okay, so I rounded off the ends, or the corners. Let's put that back in there, see how that looks. Oh, that looks a little bit better. And just tuck it in, all the way down. There we go, look at that. I feel like I want to put some, like, you know, little eggs? Maybe put a little hand here, a little statue. Because I do have that little chicken and a rooster on each side, and then some little eggs in there. That would look really cute. You could put anything in there, really, some lemons or limes. Look, so we made a little basket. Okay, let's go ahead and get these butterflies. And I like this beautiful blue. Oh, that was easy. Put one up here. And this is 
I really like the yellow. I think I like the yellow colors here on this one. And I'm going to put that one here out of the way here. Just a little bit lower. Not too much because those bottles that I put in there are going to cover that up. That looks so pretty. Oh, I gotta get the bottles. I washed them. I'm trying to think of like, should I put this little rope on the edge here? That looks pretty, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the the bottles back over here because I did wash them and hopefully they are dry now. Alright, so I'm back and I've decided to go ahead and put that little um, rope trim around the edge here and I've already done this much just to kind of save a little bit of time in the video and now I'm going to go ahead and just put a little strip of glue a little bit at a time because if you tend to do like too long it starts to dry up on you and not only that but you can start to go crooked and I've done that way too many times already so just get it on there and then do the next little section and so forth I have to look at it and then I have to just cut it right there so I can turn it around to myself. Now I could continue this by putting it on the edge here, the rope, and it would probably look really cute, especially since I have this little little uh, bits here that even though I painted, you know, where I cut the little handles that I had right here, where the little handle was, those like little loops that I cut off. I could go ahead and uh, just leave it like this. It's not really noticeable, to be honest with you. I didn't even really pay attention to them till, till now because I realized that I didn't really spray paint this side, although I did do this other side. I don't know if you can even tell the little bits here. But anyway, um, so now I'm contemplating whether I should put a little rope around it like that. I feel like because of the metal, it's a cold, uh, substance like glass uh the hot glue gun is not, really not ideal for this you really need to put a glue and i really don't want to pull out that uh glue all adhesive out uh because of the scent so maybe i should put this on the bottom edge here try to decide you guys but i think i like it just like that and the reason being is because i did want to get some of this rope let me go ahead and cut a piece off take my jars which i've already uh, put some I put olive oil in them by the way and I so I think I mentioned that I bought a big old bottle from Sam's so I've got these other two dispensers that I put olive oil into and I keep next to my stove and then I put away the big bottle in my pantry but I can now fill, fill up all these bottles and have them out on display Okay, let me put another one on here. I want to put a little little bow on them. And I just feel like, well, that's just going to be so much rope back and forth here and there. I even thought about maybe I could stick a little butterfly on the bottle. But I don't know. Is that going to be too much of that now? Let me see. Okay, let's see. Trim this off. Trim that off. How's that look? Is that cute? <clears throat> Let me see. This has is this a it has a cute couple of cute little flowers. Maybe I should put one on there. There, and there. Let's get another big one over here. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of these, some of these little ones. Just because I can. Wait, maybe this would be better on here actually. string of glue. I'm glad I turned this around to look at it. Little bits from the uh, the rope. Would these be better on here than if I put them on the bottom? I think so. Put one up here. A couple of little flowers. Okay, I can put that one on that one. Do this one on here just to give them a little decor. Okay, <clears throat> I know that they need them because look at this. I'm going to complete this 
by putting the bottles. Now they didn't fit side by side. One had to be slightly in front of the other to fit in here. But like I said, depending on the sizes you decide to use, because these little frame things that you can hang, they had them in like a little bigger sizes. I just didn't want them that big. Um, because I wanted them to kind of be like cozy in there rather than separate and you know kind of flopping around like something was missing. Okay, so I like that. I like it a lot. There we go. You know what I just noticed too? You know how this little part up here on this middle one was flopping up? It's missing on the bottom, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. It probably fell outside. I'll, I'll look for it. I don't need it, but you know. I'll go look for it. But anyway, that's in the back. It's not necessary. I think this looks really cute, you guys. What do you think? I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope you two will give me a thumbs up. I forgot what I said this was going to be called. I think I said it was going to be a, a vinegar and oil basket, maybe caddy. Maybe that's what I'll call it. But I really enjoyed making it. I hope that you leave a nice comment down below and let me know what you think. And uh, if it inspires you for a different idea, what would you do different so that... Um, Others who are reading can look at the comments and then maybe they'll get a different idea of what I did. All right, everyone, I'll make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. Um, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified my videos are every Tuesday and every Friday. I'm staying sitting down here, guys, because I am tired of doing nothing. It is hot out there. Anyway, um, hit the little notification bell. And sometimes I have a weekend of vlog. All right, everyone, make sure you share your social medias. And as always, enjoy.